Glory be to your name forever. Majesty Father, there's none like you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you, we love you. We have gathered here as your own. We have gathered together always in faith. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, let your word be established in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, those people that will be seeing this video, let your word be established in their life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for each and every one that will see this video. Because you see the video, be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be blessed in your going out. Be blessed in your coming in, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. You guys are welcome to Cross of God Church for all nations. May the God I serve be with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Those that are at home, I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to use this opportunity to say Happy Father's Day to all fathers. Anywhere you are to my, my, my father in faith. Every man of God around the world. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. All the men of God that preach the gospel in spirit and in truth. Happy Father's Day to all men. Happy Father's Day. Wheresoever you are, wheresoever you are, happy, happy, happy Father's Day. Those, no matter where you are in life, happy, happy, happy Father's Day. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Some people will say, oh, I don't have my own, my own biological son or daughter. Happy Father's Day to you also. Because most of you might not have your own personal son, daughter, but you are also having your own. When I mean having your own, taking care of those people that God has bring into your life. Any form it comes, happy Father's Day in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you. There's a name I'm hearing before I start the word of God. The Lord is telling me. Peter Edison. I don't know who is Peter Edison. Your name is coming up. It sounds like a, a scientist, but I don't think that's the name. Uh, I'm hearing this name. Peter Edison, 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 Edison. I'm hearing that name heavily. But whatsoever it is, my father in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Peter Edison. Is it Edison Peter? Whatsoever your name is that the Lord is giving me. I don't know what is going on, but the Lord said I should tell you that is done. It is done. It's done. You are not going to die. 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 You are not going to die in the name of Jesus. You are protected. You are protected. Your name is Edison Peter. That's right. I call it right now. Edison Peter. Edison Peter. I'm praying for you. I don't know you. God knows you. God said I should tell you. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you see this video. I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus. You are set free. You are set free. You are set free. You are set free. They told you that you have four days to, to live on this earth. I tell you in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord that sent me, that called me his prophet. I call upon the name of Jesus all the time. And the, the same Jesus is telling me to tell you that Edison Peter, you are not dying. Four days is not. You have plenty of life. The Lord said I should tell you in Jesus name I pray amen and amen you guys again welcome 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 and let the celebration continue please do me a favor open to your Bible let's go Leventicus Leviticus chapter 5. Leviticus chapter 5. Are you guys there? Leviticus. Leviticus chapter 5. If a person sins in hearing the utterance of an oath and is a witness, whether he has seen or known of the matter, he, if he does not tell it, he bears guilty. 
<laughs> this is some of the things that was given to the the Jews. This is how it is to them. And this was given to them that if you bear witness and your life is a guilt unto you. Verse 2. Or if a person touches any unclean things, whether it is the carcass of an unclean beast or carcass of unclean livestock or carcass of unclean creeping things and he is what unaware of it he also shall be unclean and guilt or if he touches woman uncleanness whatever uncleanness with which a man may be defiled and he is unaware of it when he realizes it then he shall be guilty men <laughs> Today I'm talking about guilty of tradition. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Can I say that? Guilty of tradition. The Lord said I should speak on guilty of tradition. Everything I read here, everything I read, just read now, this one that I read here. None of us will go even go close to God. If this law you want to follow this law. <laughs> the frozen chicken we eat. <laughs> Let me first use that one. Many uncleanliness that we don't even know. They said that, that we don't even know. If we, this is the law, I'm giving you an example of the law. That guilty of tradition. You know what this guilty of tradition is? Is that all those things, we cannot fulfill it. We cannot, I just told you, touch something that is dead. Let's give an example. Your pet died. You touch it. You touch your pet. <laughs> my pet, my chicken died. <laughs> my... My uh, gamma lizard just died. My, he said, is guilty of sin. Touching that. Why was this given to them? Because they asked of it from God. They asked God to give them this. The Lord gave them commandment. They said no. That we want those things to be restricted. What I mean? To restrict us. To put us in the box. And the God we serve is not that type of God that put us in the box. Man forces Pushes, tell, permit me to use this word. Forces, push, God. Give us. All this, none of them. That is why they blame Jesus. When Jesus came. Let me rephrase it. When God came as a man in Jesus. He came as Jesus. And they begin to say, no, the God you call your father has given us those laws. Jesus said, all those ones that I've sent to you, which one have you done? Many have come to that tradition, introduce it as a religion to the church. And this multiplied, this is what Brother Paul and brother Peter was talking about. This apostle talks about this tradition into the church. And this caused a lot of blaspheming for the Holy Ghost. Let me tell you an example. Paul 
want to go and preach. And he got there, they made a sacrifice for the gods they serve. And this was an oath that if you make an oath unto this law, that means you abide in that oath of the law. And here comes a man who met Jesus, preaching the gospel, went to that place. When he saw there's no way to preach to them, he dined with them and began to eat. And the Jews saw it and said, you know, all this thing, now you are eating. And that's why you check the Bible, the scripture. Nobody talks about, talks about uncleanness more than Paul in the Bible. Nobody talks about uncircumcised and circumcision in the Bible. He is the one. And because he has come to understand the will of God. The will of God is not to put you in a box. Not to put you in a corner. Let me throw this one inside. Permit me. I said this. Permit me, I'm going to throw this. People that are married and divorced. People argue that divorce is a sin. It is written in the Bible. Also, the Bible said, in those days of the Jew, they marry more than, more than, you know, any woman you can marry, marry as long. It's not a sin. As long as they get birth and they can farm. And our life begins to change to industrialized nation. We, became, we begin to industrialize. Now we don't need people to farm. When we have produced mechanical, mechanical machines that will work in the farm. So we don't need people to work in the farm anymore. So we, can't, we, don't, we don't need to marry anymore. In this country, you are not allowed to marry too. But in other countries, it's allowed. Did you guys see the traditions? Are you guys listening to what I'm saying? Yes. The guilty of tradition, that's what I'm talking about. In the same tradition, being drawn into the church, said, I can't pray because I didn't cover my head. God will not answer me because I didn't cover my head. Why? Because it's a tradition of a particular place. They said in the Middle East, the culture, the way they dress is different from here. There's a part in some African country, if a female put on a jeans, that female is a sinner. Up to today, some places, they said it's a sinner. He's a, he, she's a sinner. She didn't cover her head. She's a sinner. A woman does not have right to talk. How can a woman be a pastor? How can a woman be a prophetess? Tradition drawn into the, into the church and it becomes guilt. Guilty of tradition. And Jesus came to tell us it's not like that. Imagine Jesus. A lady came. Use her head to wash the feet of God. And they say, Hark! Why will you allow that woman to wash her leg? The woman is a sinner. She used her hair to clean. The hair of a woman is her glory. The glory covers her beauty. That's what it meant. It shows beauty. Ladies with hair, they will tell you, I want to do my hair. I want to do, oh my God, you came at the wrong time. Oh, baby, I just woke up. Look at my hair scatter. Oh, you look beautiful. No, baby, you don't understand. Look at my hair. It's just like this, like that. It is men. We don't care. We come out the way we are. All this one, we just wear a t-shirt, walk away. This is us. Duty of tradition. This is what it costs in different places. I'm just showing you. This is in Leviticus. This was given to them. The Levi, they told them, this is what, okay, you guys want it. It's not that God wants to give them. When God created man, he said it's good. This is what the Lord said. 
He didn't say it's not good, it's not perfect. He said it's good. And you get. <laughs> Let's, let me show you something in Titus first. Let's go to Titus. The book of Titus. Are you guys there? Are you guys in church? <laughs> but as for you, speak the things which are what? Which are proper for what? Sound doctrine. Guilt of tradition. <laughs> Let's go. That the older men be what? Sober. And what? Reverent, temperate, sound in what? In faith, in love, and in what? In patience. There's a ah, ah, ah. What? Really? Yeah. So, okay, let me tell you something. Because you have dishonor, dishonor us, you are not my child again. Because you went out and you start doing your own, you know, you have to follow this, you have to follow that. We want to put you in a box. So our religion has told us if you smile too much, that means, that means you are evil. Or if you dance too much, that means you are evil. If you do this, if you do that, if you... Then why did Jesus came? Because it's in your heart that you have beauty of tradition, thinking that it's of God. Jesus came because of those things that he knows that we cannot accomplish. Somebody like me having the Holy Ghost. Somebody like you having the Holy Ghost. That we are not qualified. And the Lord put his spirit in us. That the devil is highly jealous. The Bible told us the devil wanted to see Moses. Why? Because he saw that glory. And the same glory dwells with you. Jesus said, what my father gave me, I've given unto you. Look at what he said. Let's go. Verse 3. He said, Older woman, likewise, that they be what? Reverent in what? In behavior. Oh, now they know the truth. Now they know the truth. You, can, you, you, you can't condemn them because you have seen it. That is why you preach Jesus. That is why you tell people about Jesus, that Jesus forgives sin said, this is not new to God. You are not the first person that killed. You are not the first person that lied. You are, you, you are not the first of anything. said, oh, I'm the first woman being. <laughs> That's the first lie. That's another lie. <laughs> said, oh, anything that you try so bring into the gospel of Jesus Christ. That is not of God. God condemns it. If you read the Bible very well and you see the condemnation of Jesus, they said Jesus blasphemed. God himself blasphemed. Imagine God blaspheming. God blaspheming. This is what human beings say. Because of guilty of tradition. Guilty of tradition. I personally, I told you, because of tradition. I told you there's a family when I came to United States some years ago. And a family invited me. 
to their for Christmas. Guilty of tradition, they made a what do you call it? Not a ham. In my room, they brought ham to me to eat. I said, ah, original Christian don't eat ham. <laughs> Ah! Uh, I left. The Lord did not say anything. After one week or two weeks, the Lord started dealing with me. I started crying. I'm telling you, cry. Fasted. Fasted. Of my what? Guilty of what? Tradition. Do you guys remember when the Lord visited Peter? And he said, out of this unclean animal, pick one and eat. Guilty of tradition, what did Peter say? No. And the Lord said, <laughs> he said, well, what did he tell him? He said, why will you say something that I have blessed? Why do you curse what I have blessed? Why? And that guilty of nobody, I'm telling in the gospel of Jesus Christ that I will preach, nobody was guilty of tradition more than Peter. I told you, Peter's ministry did not take off. He was the head of the whole church at that time because the Lord have said him. Until the guilty himself, let me call him the guilty himself, that's what he's telling me. The guilty himself, that is Paul begin to cause confusion and he was not afraid anymore he begin to talk thank you Jesus thank you thank you thank you Jesus thank you Holy Spirit thank you Holy Spirit who was so guilty of these things that when he saw the miracles that was happening with Paul and the Bible said what the Holy Spirit in Paul Begin to speak out. Why? Because Peter now has come to that fullness. He was not ashamed. He was. He doesn't care anymore. It is. He said, great. as he was getting older, he, he said, no, I don't care anymore. And he came out as the head of the church and begin to do wonders and begin to do miracles. As he was hearing in the, in, in, in the church in art, the church is the bread in the earth. He began to see and he came to lay hand and he began to cause miracles and said the guilty of my tradition, that this tradition has held me back. The same thing as many, I know many pastors, that guilty of tradition has held all, all one leg. This is what it happened. It happened. He said, why? Be guilty of tradition. Introduced to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Guilty of tradition has made us. Has made us to condemn others. When we were supposed to be praying in our room. In those days. Leprosy. Was something they talk about in the Bible. They will throw you out of the city. They keep them in one cell. Those who that have leprosy, they will keep them. They will keep them. Jesus healed how many people? Ten people. Permit me. Let me rephrase my English. Jesus prayed for ten people and healed them. One came back to say thank you. And the Lord said, because you have come back to give thanks, you are made whole. That means your body will come back. That is, that is how, stig, should I use the word, stig, stigmatization, that leprosy, leprosy was by then. Now, any other things that could come, people will Run away from them. When you need to pray for them. There's a dear friend of mine. And this dear friend of mine had tuberculosis. And when he had tuberculosis, 
I have to go to the hospital. They said, you have to wear masks to go to that place. Before I go, I soak myself in the Holy Ghost. In my room, I soak myself, soak myself, soak myself. That as I was walking, it was dripping out. I got to that place, into the hospital. I entered that place. They said, what do you call it? It's, it's airborne disease. So if I enter that place, it will come to me. And I went there. And I laid my hand and prayed. And I walked out. After I walked out, they saw it. And they traced me back to home and came to meet me. You went to the hospital today? I said, yes. So where are you from? We came from the hospital. We came to take your blood. And maybe we will try to quarantine you. Eh, oh, okay. Uh, sorry, I can't give you my blood. Uh, I'm, what do you do? So I said, okay, come back three days later. If, if anything happened, you can take my blood. I will give you. Three days later, nothing happened. They said, okay, we wanted to come to see you. Three days later, my, that, the same three days later, my friend, they discharged my friend in the hospital. And he came back home. guilty of tradition. I went because Jesus died on the cross. I have overcome the world. Jesus came that I might not put myself in that guilty of tradition, of that stigmatization. Somebody will choose whatsoever uh, how do you say it? Permit me to use the word sex habit. Don't stigmatize. Don't stigmatize. Pray in your room. Pray in your room. Paki patai alo. Pretesi kala krumanaya. Sikato prania tasi kala bro. Makika sufradia teyela. Eh, whatsoever that is born of God have overcome the world. Any spirit that is not of God. Hey, you are light. You are light. You are light. You were taken out of darkness. And as a light, darkness comprehended not. Where did it come to you? Instead of them, hey, the atmosphere, you are the temple of the Holy Ghost. You cannot carry the temple and remain the same. They will come, you will clean them. The unclean will become clean because they get in contact with you. Why? Because you are not guilty of tradition. But when you are guilty of tradition, you become one of them. Do you know that? You are so afraid, you become one of them. But when you are not, you are in your room. You are in your room talking to your father. You guys are settling. You are settling. You, you, when you settle, you settle with your father. Are you guys getting what I'm saying? Are you sure? Are you sure? Hey! Huh? Ah. It's like you guys are not getting what I'm saying. Are you sure you are getting what I'm saying? Now let's turn to Timothy. Come back. First Timothy. Chapter 4. First Timothy chapter 4. Are you guys there? Finally then. Brethren, we have urged and exhort in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you should abound more and more, just as you, just as you what? Receive. Are you guys there? Sorry, sorry, sorry. First what? First Timothy. Yeah. Yes, First Timothy. Chapter 4. Are you guys there now? It's me that made mistake. Yes. Now, am I in the right place now? Yes. Now, the Spirit expressly said that in later times, some will depart from what? Faith. Giving heal to what? Deceive spirit and what? Doctrine of what? Of demon. Now, let me take you to that place back. Where I was reading for you, I jumped to that place. First Thessalonians chapter 4. <laughs> now permit me. Let's go there. 
First Thess Thessalonians chapter 4. That's where I was reading. Are you guys there? First Thessalonians chapter. Eh? Do you guys see what I took you to that place to express things to you? I do you guys get what I'm trying to do? So the guilty of tradition is done by what? The deceive by demons to people. A Christian does not do that. But because of the teachings of demons, people hijack their guilty of tradition. Are you guys getting what I'm saying? Are you sure? Okay, let me read it again. Finally then, brethren, we urge you and exhort in the name of the Lord Jesus that you should abound more and more just as you, are, as you receive from what? From us. How you ought to what? Walk and what? That is why I read that place. So what I'm doing, I'm telling you right now, those teachings that you hear that drags the guilty of tradition into church is not of God. That's what I'm trying to say. It's of demon. It's like it sounds the same. It sounds the same. What takes it out is the spirit that because of the spirit can make you understand that this is what I'm saying is true or not. They can quote Bible better than I do. But I'm telling you things that you understand. That guilty of tradition is very, 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 very bad. It, it's like a, okay, it's like a stone. When a stone is tied on your neck, a stone, tied, long stone, tied, and drop you in the water, in the river, in the ocean. You can't swim because of there's a, a rock, big rock, tied around you. And this rope, you cannot cut it. Tie your hand. And when they tie your hand, they tie the rope and the big and throw you into the river. That is the duty of tradition. That is why the effect of the word of God is not working in that person's life. Why? Because of duty of tradition. We don't know how, I told you this. A, when you meet a Christian, we don't know how to condemn. We love. Love wins life. No hatred. Hatred does not win. Anytime you are saying you are hating, you are hating, <laughs> you will grow old. I told you this. said, I hate. But when you smile, <laughs> even children around you will smile with you. Kids around you will celebrate with you. Anytime you are celebrating, you smile. Guilty of tradition keep you sober all the time. It's not that it's not good to be sober. Yes. When you are sober, that means you, when I, let me explain you this. When you are sober in Christianity, it means you are in spirit, not as the word says sober. When, let me open it again so you understand. When you are sober, that means you stop drinking. <laughs> Is that true? You, okay, you, is that what you, how do you guys, anytime they say somebody is sober, that means the, the person is coming out of addiction. You know, something like you're addicted to. But anytime in Christianity, when you are sober, that means you are always in the spirit. You are spirit alert. You are smiling, but your spirit, what? Your spirit is attuned for things. You are sober minded. Are you guys getting what I'm saying? You don't allow tradition. Tradition. <laughs> I told you, you guys know this. In tradition, if somebody died and they said in a meeting, they want to, they want to, they said, this is what they said, they said they want to respect the person. What would they do? They will, quiet, they will, they will keep quiet for some few seconds, Abby. You guys are not answering. Is it true or not? Yes. They will keep quiet. They will just go like this. Moment of silence. The person is already silent in the grave. <laughs> hey! 
When a child is born, people celebrate. When somebody dies, they mourn the person. Is that not ironic? <laughs> Tradition, guilty of tradition. So if you didn't mourn, they will know. They will, they, will, they will know. In Africa, in some part of Africa, Nigerian, I heard that there's a, a company, a company, a company that you go to the company, you said, I want some criers. Criers, you go, you pay them. Those people, what they do is to cry. They come to, <laughs> they come to that we're keeping to come and cry. <laughs> they pay them to cry. <laughs> and people will say, ah, man, at that, <laughs> at that place, people cry. Hey! When somebody died that you know is born of God, you celebrate because you know where he is. You celebrate. Sir, so, we are celebrating. The person that even died knows that we are celebrating. He said, celebrate me. When I was born, celebrate me. The same way, anytime I'm leaving this earth, celebrate me. No, not break me. For what? That means you did not conquer the earth. You can. You are not guilty of tradition. The Bible said what in Revelation? He said, I saw them clothed in white linen. Hey! In white linen, celebrating. That is our God. That is where we belong to. He didn't say we were, we were wearing dark clothes. We are we? No. We are not. We, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. we are of the Lord. We are of the Lord. We belong to God. Duty of tradition. I've turned away men from God. A lot. Duty of tradition. You want to see where duty of tradition is? Go to religious folks. Religious folks, that is where you see guilty of tradition. Is there? None of them among them. None of them can fulfill one of the law. The law said if you look, it's a sin. What? You thought it's a sin. Uh -huh. Why? Because they ask of it. The God we serve tells us different things. <laughs> Let me show you something in Ephesians, please. Let me take you to Ephesians. Are you guys there? I'm not there yet. <laughs> Let me not do a mistake. <laughs> Ephesians chapter 2. Let me, read, let, let me read this, this from verse 1. And you, he, <laughs> and you, he made what? Alive. Who we are what? Dead. Dead in what? In guilty of what? Of what? Of tradition. In, in, <laughs> I'm putting it there. Let me read it again. And you, he made alive. Who we are dead in trespasses and what? And sin. In which... You once walk according to what? The course of what? Aha. Uh -huh. According to what? Eh? Hey, 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 hey. Stop, 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 stop. Let's read it again. The prince of what? Of the power of what? The air. What? That is guilty of tradition said no if you have to you have to holy oh holy oh holy that means i'm a christian holy hmm hmm don't talk i'm so holy i'm so holy you will die and the devil will celebrate you guilty of tradition that does not make you righteous. It's not outward appearance. 
if you like, dress the way you want. The Holy Spirit convinces men, not you, Mr. Pastor, not you, Mr. Prophet, not you, Mr. Evangelist. The Holy Spirit convinces men's heart. Preach the gospel in truth, in spirit. Why? The demons take over. It takes over. The prince of the air take over. Throw it for you and you see it and you catch it and you begin to practice it. And when you begin to practice it, it becomes a religion. And other people that are blinded will follow you. Guilty of tradition. Introduced to church. Many today is still, is, is, permit me, is, they, they have it. But what we came as a spiritual time, we came to break men out of it. The Lord God has sent us. The Lord God I, I serve testify. The Holy Spirit testify. The apostles, they testify. The elders testify what I'm telling you. They testify of who has sent me. The one that sent me is telling you that you cannot do those things. It's called guilty of tradition. Guilty of tradition made Paul persecuted the Christians. You persecute them. No, don't. As a Christian, we don't persecute. We love beyond. Paul begin to love. They begin to win souls. Ah. This. Paul did some crazy things. Why? Because the Holy Spirit, he allowed the Holy Spirit to rest upon him. No demon spirit. Even when the girl that was filled with demon was telling him that this is how you are going to end up. He was angry, but he didn't do anything. Our life is full of grace. Our life is full of understanding of God because we have overcome the world. We are not guilty of the air. The prince of the air is not for us as a Christian. Don't allow any demonic teachings, doctrine to deceive you. I beg you. I plead with you. Remain in God. Remain in truth. Remain in truth. Let God celebrate you and say, I have my own. I have my own. The Lord is saying, I have my own. If the Lord is saying that I have my own, and you are counted to be among God's own. Many people, many people, you see them. When you see them, a woman came to me. When he came to me, this woman is among a movement, a religious movement. She came to me, and she began to confess he said, I've seen men of God, but I've seen now. I've seen you. He said, I know that the Lord God we talk about is with you. And he began to confess. Even me, I opened out. I stayed with this woman till 1 a.m. talking to her. Physically, talking. She was confessing from one confessing. And she told me how she will pretend. Pretend. And if you see her, you will, you too will be shocked. She tells me, when she tells me what she was doing, <laughs> in my head, this is in my head, I was telling, it's better for a lady to even, wear, what she was saying, it's better for that, a lady to wear a miniskirt and walk. <laughs> and people are like, oh, wow. <laughs> but because of what she was telling me, and if it's gown, no earrings, no this thing, and she's calling Jesus. Ha! You know when Jesus said, your, 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 your heart is full of what? The death of a prophet. The bones of the dead prophet. All what they have done. That's how that woman, that, that's what I see that day. Even me, I was shocked. <laughs> they tell you some confession, you are like, huh? Huh? You? Yes. Why? Demon. The prince of the earth. Hijack doctrine, create it for men, for men to, to, <laughs> to read it. And men took it and it become tradition. From tradition, it become a gospel of the prince of the air. Please permit me before I close. Let me show, let me, let's go back. Let's go to that, 
uh, First Thessalonians. Let's go to First Thessalonians. Did I read? Uh, did I read Ephesians? Did I read it? I'm asking you guys. Did I read it for you? I know. Yes, I did. Let, let me read first. Where are you guys now? First Thessalonians. Please hold on to hold on to uh, Ephesians chapter two. But let's go to First Thessalonians. Are you guys there? First Thessalonians chapter. Yes. I'm going to read. I'm going to do something. I'm going to read. Please remember this. I'm going to read verse 3. Oh, let's, let's, take it from, uh, let's take it from verse 1. From verse 1 of chapter 4. Finally then, brethren, we urge you and exhort you in the, exhort in the name of Jesus Christ, that the Lord Jesus, that you should abound more and more, just as you receive from us, how you ought to what? Walk and to please God. For you know that the commandment we gave you through the word Jesus, through the Lord Jesus. For this is what? The will of God. Hear what he said. Your sanctification that you should abstain from what? He said, there's a place, he said, sanctification. There's a word there. He said, for your sanctification. He told you how. I'm explaining to you. He said, for your sanctification. That is why. For your sanctification. For your, hey, for your sanctification. For your sanctification. What is that sanctification? You guys understand it. That the Lord can talk to you. The Lord can meet you. And you can be a deliverance to many. For your sanctification. You set apart for God to use you. For your sanctification. You have to be pure. Are you guys getting what I'm saying? Okay. Now, let's go. Let's go to where, where, where are we going to? Ephesians what? Chapter 2. And you made alive who were what? Dead to trespasses and sin. In which once walk according to what? To the cause of what? The word. According to the prince of what? The air. Power of the power of the air. The spirit who now walk in what? In the sons of what? Disobedience. Did you guys see? There's many things that are happening. That I see people of religion fighting physical fight. You don't fight it. If you're a Christian, the only fight you know how to do is what? Pray in your room. Nobody hears you. Destroy the work of Satan. I said the most dangerous Christian is a, a praying what? A praying Christian. He's the most. He, the devil runs away from that person. He sends challenges, but he runs away. Let me continue. He said, verse three. Among who also we all once conducted ourselves in what? In the loss of our flesh. Did you guys see it again? I read a place for you. Did you guys remember? Hey, uh, you guys. Uh, did you guys remember where I just read before I came here? Did you guys remember where I read? Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Among who also we all once conducted ourselves in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desire, the what, the desires of our flesh and of of our mind, and if we are. We are by, by the nature of what? Children of wrath, just as what? The other. But God, who is rich in mercy, because of his great love with what? Which he loves us. Even when we were dead in what? In trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By the grace you have what? Been saved. And rises, rises up together and made us sit together in what? In heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That 
in ages to come, he might show exceedingly riches of his grace in his kindness toward, towards us in what? In Christ Jesus. For the grace you have been saved through what? Faith. That not of yourself, it is the gift of God. Not of the work, lest anyone should be what? Boast. For we are in what? His work? Workmanship. Created in what? In Christ Jesus for good work which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in what? In them. Guilty of tradition. Remember this. Why I read this? I wanted you to, to remember this. Don't condemn others. He told us once, our life is like this. We were fulfilled in the flesh. Now we are of the spirit. So anything that is happening, the only thing we can do is to go into our room and pray. We pray. When we pray, we receive answer. I plead with you in the name of the Lord Jesus. He who sent me. Gift, guilty of tradition, I told you, is like tying a big stone on your neck and tie your hand and throw into the river, into the ocean. Please, I beg you, guilty of tradition is not for Christians. Christians, we have kindness, we have love. We have patience, we have perseverance, we have endurance, we love beyond. I speak as a prophet and I stand in the truth of my father, he who sent me in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord God of hosts, the one that sent me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for those ones that are here in the name of Jesus Christ, that their hearts have received. Those who will be seeing the video, may their heart receive in the name of Jesus Christ. Around the world, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jehovah, you are the healer. You are the healer. You are the healer. You are the healer. I saw a man, and this man, you have given up hope. No hope. You have given up all hope. But in Christ Jesus, there is hope. 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 I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jehovah, you said I should call your name. Your name is Kenneth. I'm seeing Kenneth. I'm seeing Kenneth. I'm seeing you. Your name is Kenneth. I'm talking about you, Kenneth. I'm, you are 46 years old. To know that God knows you. I saw you. You are wearing uh, the khaki shorts. I'm seeing you with the blue khaki short. I'm seeing you. At where you are, I am standing in front of you. I'm saying this to you. The Holy Ghost is the one seeing you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Every hope, everything that I've gone, my father said you should go. You should go. That place you want to go, go. The Lord allows you to go. Don't let guilty of tradition to stop you. Go. Go. Go, go, go. That is the word. Go. Even the Lord gave you a dream yesterday night for you to go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Every of your dream that the Lord has given you will come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your wonderfulness in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for countries in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for England. I'm praying for England. I'm seeing attack. I'm seeing an attack. I'm seeing an attack. I see it on the news. England, that's England, the, 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 the country. I'm talking about the country. England, I see an attack. My Lord and my Father, protect, protect, protect. England, the country. England, I'm seeing an attack. My Father, protect your children. Protect your children. Protect your children. I see an attack. I'm praying for, uh, for, for France. I'm seeing people uh, demonstrating. I'm seeing people in France demonstrating in the name of Jesus Christ. My Lord and my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jehovah, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for, for the Senate. I pray for the Senate. I pray for, 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 I see like confusion, confusion. Some group of people are causing confusion. I see, I see, I see in the Senate, group of people causing confu confusion. 
I see like Heta Scatter is going to be on the news. My Lord, protect your children. Protect them. Protect them. My Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord God of hosts, you are God who never fails. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray. I'm seeing another heavy rainfall. Heavy rainfall. Flood in some certain area in the United States here. I'm seeing heavy rainfall. Heavy rainfall. My Father, protect your children. Protect your children. Protect your children. Protect your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Mara, there's a trust. I'm seeing like an old singer. Is he living the earth? Old singer. Somebody that sings a song. Old but live in the earth. My Lord and my Father, thank you. I pray for the family in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord God of hosts, you never fail me in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you for today. Thank you because you are wonderful in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for many that will come to know God, my Lord and my Father. Let them know God in spirit and in truth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, King of Glory. I pray for those that are sick in their body in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed, whatsoever sickness is. Be healed, be healed in your body. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every swelling in your body, now go down in the name of Jesus. I command that swelling to leave. I command that swelling to leave your body. Leave your body in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, any, 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 any attack, my Lord and my Father, they are protected. They are protected in the name of Jesus Christ. There's a certain place I'm seeing like a lot of bugs. Bugs. A certain state. A certain state. Not New Mexico. A certain state. Like a lot of bugs. People will complain about bugs. My Lord and my Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.